Good day, dear friends. Good day, humans. I hope we are still friends. I hope you're still friend with Trump. I hope you still friend with your family members who are not with you anymore. I hope you're still a friend to the dead ones. They're not in this particular realm with you. Consider how many friends do you have? How many are left for you to call them friends? Or how many of others calling you a friend? So today's chat has nothing to do with the friendship. It has to do everything with the prosperity. Well, materialistic prosperity as many of you only know the way how to live. And profit and prosperity, material prosperity, brings no friends. It brings competitors, it brings adversaries, it brings bosses, it brings you being boss to somebody else, or let's say brings slavery, but it doesn't bring a true friendship. So profit as such is one of the worst enemies of friendship. One of the worst enemies of humanity as such. That we are going to discover what true humanity means. The story for today is titled like this. Hoodwinked by a profitable mind. So consider why Trump took this presidency for the profit or for his principles why Martin Luther King was so adamant to talk for years to bring equality amongst the people for the profit that the blacks will eventually you know have enough money to survive or for his own principles, his own beliefs, that we are all equal, in front of God, of course. In front of the law, we are not, present man's law. So, when you bring a God into profitability, it doesn't work. But when you're listening to Trump, who was one of the most rebellious profiteers, in his, let's call it, previous life, before he became a president. This brings me to a really conclusion that you can use a profitable way of life and existence to turn it very fast into a very, very prominent teaching for everybody else to see how principles of yours apply to your daily living when where Trump completely ignored his let's call it well-being being a very like lazy into like earning just more money or doing whatever he please he can negotiate any deal but why I mean what for what was his purpose in life until he reached this presidency? It was just to be a rich man. It was just to be on TV shows. Just to be able to say publicly, you are fired, you don't work anything and so on. But look at him now. Do you hear him any? truly bad words about individuals. Individuals I'm talking, not in a, in, a, in a public domain when he's talking about the fake news system that was enslaving us, that he called them fake or very, very fake news. So, to me this is just a state of the fact, it's nothing incriminatory. Why somebody would 
get upset if let's say somebody tells me oh you're a big liar so, okay absolutely I'm not agreeing with you but you can think about me whatever you want but if I ask this thing back can you prove it what you just said and without going into my emotional let's say misdemeanor or, or a state of complete angriness with him whoever brought this subject up I can just say okay prove me that I am a liar so what Trump is doing he's actually proving you all that you've been lied constantly and he will not stop until every single American every single one recognize that they've been lied by certain well, technologies or certain systems that were in place and nobody really want to challenge them until now. So watch it now. The Gorsuch comes in into place as a Supreme Court judge. You'll see now the claims that are going to be raised really against all these profiteers because you cannot be in the gov government which works so-called for the people and be a profitable being profitably oriented of course the government will be profitable when all the theft and uh, collusion with the dark side stops when all the corruption has been eradicated or drained how he called it very nicely but he cannot do it for you you can still continue thinking in your, let's call it limited mind, of the prophet that you are deceived. What he wants to achieve, Trump. He has billions, still has them, but he doesn't care about it as much. So when you're approaching this, let's call it presidency campaign and all this commotion with his uh, is he worth it when you listen to the democratic uh, uh, crapsters what they're saying it's ridiculous because there's not a single fact fact not even a proof it's non-factual steering the shit around somebody who cannot be steered when they're going to realize it it'll be very very late i'll be looking you know into the free America from the jail cell. So now still they have a chance because they are still on the freedom. Like I say they are still on the freedom. They still have the freedom, I'm sorry. That it's very, very limited. Because they are just free how much they're not allowing themselves to tell the truth. They have to continue lying and digging deeper and deeper hole where they cannot actually even see the, the top place where the light could maybe shine through. So how to help these creatures? The Democrats, all the angry ones, all the fake media, all the alternative fake media. How to help them? This is what I'm noticing in the last couple of months is happening with some of these, let's say Alex Jones ch uh, channel, has been truly infiltrated with a couple of very bright and light beings. Just watch it. Alex Jones will be weeded out somehow because he dug his hole very, very deep. CNN dug his hole very, very deep. Because they cannot survive without these money or, you know, underlying corrupted funds that were coming in billions towards towards them. So they can do all the scenery and, and, and fake uh, stories all around. So purpose of your life here on this planet 
Is this for the profit or for something else? Is this here for you to prove that you're better than somebody, your neighbor, or that you're richer than Trump, or you, that you're smarter than any of the you know, stupid scientists that you think they're very smart? Think about this. Think what you are here for. And are you making your decisions based on the profitability case? Are you pushing your children to go to certain so-called smart and very profitable schools like lawyers, dentists, doctors? Or are you here to try to teach them a morality of being alive? Are you here to teach them an integrity of your own non-materialistic existence, if this exists within your realm? Can you show your children, your children, other children, even if you're a teacher, you're a professor, you are uh, even a clerk in the store, you can be a beautiful teacher to anybody else. not until you realize that you living material life only so what is an al alternative you bring yourself into the position when you can see what kind of principles like higher principles you can bring into other people's lives. Your children, your co-workers, your countrymen. Is it being patriot? A principle of a goodness? Well, based on the present state of the patriotism, in America means go and bomb somebody else and then you're a great patriot. So to me it's a twisted way of seeing what me what's the meaning of the patriotism. What's the meaning of social justice? Again, when you listening and watching these present lawyer, judges, advocates, they don't have a clue. They only have a material approach to their own life and the rest of the principles they're supposed to protect their clients is irrelevant to absolutely like I'm saying 99% of these advocates and so many are facing now the surfacing who are truly here and they are true advocates of humanity like Trey Gowdy like Chavez, like huh. basically Trump is the biggest humanitarian on this planet at the present time because he sits on the throne of the the most let's call it profitably driven country United States of America so where is the end of this materialistic approach. It's a not an easy question. I can tell you in a two words. Bitcoin, Ethereum. This means nothing to ones who still wanna just live off the dollars. So start living off the Bitcoins. And this will slightly change your attitude towards very, very non-profitable life.